Lactic acid builds up in the muscles during vigorous exercise. During recovery, how is this lactic acid removed? The lactic acid would be removed by aerobic respiration. Yeah. The answer would be A. Aerobic respiration of lactic acid in the liver. Next question, which process transmits an impulse across the synapse? That would be diffusion. B. Diffusion. Next question. The diagram shows the muscles that control the size of the pupil in an eye. How do the muscles make the pupil smaller? Circular and radial muscles. It would be like an antagonistic action where when one contract, the other one would relax and if the other one relax, the other one would contract yeah so to make the pupil smaller, the circular muscle contract and the radial relax so the answer would be B next question the diagram shows the shoot and root of a seedling Responding to gravity, which row shows where the oxygen accumulates and the effect of this in the shoot. This is the shoot. This is gravitropism. It accumulates. It accumulates on a lower surface, right? And hence this side would like, and this side would grow faster. And noxine, they promote cell elongation. So the answer would be B. Next question. The patient has dye injected into the blood supply to his kidneys. The dye appears in his excretory system as shown. Which part is blocked? So they're asking, what is this? This would be the ureter. So the answer is B. This one over here is your kidney. This is your bladder. And this is your urethra. Next question. Bacteria such as MRSA are resistant to antibiotics. These processes can occur in bacteria, which um, what would contribute to the development of antibiotic resistance. Antibi antibiotic resistance is natural selection. It's not artificial. And the re reason the cause of antibiotic resistance is due to random mutations causing genetic variation. So your answer will be 2, 3, 4, which is C. Next question. Why do some athletes take anabolic steroids? They take anabolic steroids is used to stimulate muscle tissue. So the answer, the answer for question 27 would be B to increase muscle mass. Next question. In humans, why are sperm cells produced in much greater numbers than egg cells? The answer would be D. The chance of one sperm reaching an egg is very small. C is not correct. Sperm cells are mortal, they can move around. It is not A. Many sperm cells are needed. Don't need many. I think one is enough. One sperm cells are needed to fertilize an egg cell. B. Sperm cells are small in size. Um, it is correct, but it doesn't explain why it is produced in much greater number. So the answer would be the most suitable answer would be D. Next question, what, there are many reasons why a woman doesn't become pregnant. What can be treated by a drug that increases the secretion of FSH? 
so FSH they will stimulate development of follicle into graphene follicle to graphene follicle so the answer will be B it's definitely not A not D T neuterine lining is due to is because LH is not secreted so when LH is not secreted no ovulation would occur uterine lining would be thin so to treat this you need LH Next question, the diagram shows the cells of a mammalian embryo shortly after fertilization. What is the correct description of these cells? Shortly after fertilization, stem cells would be produced. Stem cells. So it's not A, not B. Stem cells, they are unspecialized cells that will divide to produce daughter cells that can become specialized for specific functions. So, undergoing mitosis. Stem cells, they divide by mitosis. So the answer would be D. Next question, the diagram shows a diploid cell and alleles capital R and small r on one pair of chromosomes. When this cell divides by mitosis, which daughter cells will be produced? The daughter cells produce... Mitosis, they will produce genetically identical daughter cell. And the chromosome number would remain the same. So, diploid cell. This is heterozygous, so the answer will be A. Heterozygous means that two different alleles. While for homozygous, it's like identical alleles. like this so the answer for question 21 31 would be a next question the diagram shows a genetic cross between male bird with black feathers and a female bird with white feathers all of the offspring have blue feathers two of the blue offspring are crossed which rule shows the correct phenotype percentages for the cross so two of the blue offspring are crossed. You can draw like a Punnett square. Wow. So you will have twenty five percent black. And 25% white and 50% blue so the answer would be B next question what is the feature of some xerophytes xerophytes they are adapted to live in dry conditions it's not yeah so they don't want transpiration to occur they don't like the loss of water vapor. They want minimal transpiration to occur. So, large airways, no. We don't want diffusion to occur. Because, yeah, it will cause a loss of water vapor. The answer would be B. Leaves rolled up and covered with hairs. Leaves with stomata on the upper surface. Uh, usually it would be on the lower surface because it will be cooler and so less water will evaporate and usually take cuticle yes so the answer would be B next question 
The diagram shows a pyramid of biomass, which organisms are found in position X. That would be your producers, D. Then this would be your like primary, your secondary, then your tertiary. Next question. What is the trophic level? Trophic level is like a position of an organism in a food chain, food web, pyramid of numbers, or pyramid of biomass. So the answer would be C. Position. An organism's position in a food web. A seems to be describing about food web. Food web is... And this seems to be food chain. Show a transfer of energy from the organism to the next. Beginning with producer. It begins with a producer. So the answer for question C of uh, question C for question thirty five would be C. Next question the diagram shows part of the nitrogen cycle at which stage is denitrification occurring. Denitrification is where nitrates are converted to nitrogen. So the answer would be B. A seems to be nitrogen fixation. C seems to be nitrification. So the answer for question 36 would be B. Nitrates to nitrogen in the atmosphere. Next question. Which features found in bacteria make bacteria useful in genetic engineering? That would be your plasmid. Plasmid, they are very small. So that they can be inserted into cells. Next question, which chemical reaction is catalyzed by maltase? B. B. Maltase break down maltose to glucose. It is not C. Starch is a polysaccharide. Maltose is a disaccharide. Mm. Yes, the answer is B. Maltase will break down maltose to glucose. Next question. What are the possible effects of deforestation? So deforestation is an example of habitat destruction. Or an example. And it can be like extinction. Loss of soil, flooding, increase of carbon dioxide, in the atmosphere. So yes, deforestation effects loss of soil, flooding, Decrease? No. So it's yes, yes, no. So the answer for question 39 would be A. Yes. Next question. The blood worm is an organism that is found in heavily polluted water. The diagram shows where raw sewage flows into a river. 
Where would there be fewest blood ones? Heavy polluted water. Raw sewage. Say heavily polluted water. So E would have the fewest blood worm because it is released over here. Then the f water would flow over here. So like this whole region over here would have a lot of blood worms. Yes. And this one would have the least, the fewest. So the answer would be A. And that's all. Bye.